Good morning. So, just here to remind you that when the darkness comes, there's always the dawn. Right? Dusk, dawn, dusk is at night. But, um, like I said, a new day will dawn. Right? We get to a point where I'm not going to lie. I know you've seen it probably in some of the videos or just where I've been emotionally, mentally, physically drained. Um, it's what happens when you're an empath and you go in public. If that happens to you, you might not realize why. You could be empathic as well. Meaning that you feel people. You, um, I was talking to a man at work yesterday, the same one, it was like a sermon. And he said, people like you and people like me and he said you can see it they can see it they flock to you and i was like i know <laughs> and some days it's like no not today no he's just stop it stop it most days i don't mind some days when i have my own life lifing right it's really hard to overcome um it's like a baby you have a baby and the baby has colic and you are so exhausted and you have to keep going and keep going and you have to comfort and you have to be there and it's like oh my god i'm about to explode and the crazy thing is the more discomfort you have the more the baby feels the discomfort the more crying and it's just this vicious cycle so there's days where i try to put on that rbf that doesn't work for me <laughs> it tends to still draw people in but instead if they know me personally they're are you okay yeah I'm fine I start becoming short with them I start basically I don't want to deal with anybody I love you please leave me alone I just need some air you know it's when somebody falls out on the floor everyone will tell you give them space they need room to breathe and we get to a point where sometimes we just need room to breathe we live in such a big world it's amazing that we're so condensed down in these little bitty cities right we're on top of each other we have a hard time even getting into the wilderness anymore because it's just being chopped down a little bit at a time a little bit at a time and for me that is um disheartening that that is my church that is my escape that is where i go to refuel and sadly the only church that's left is the cemetery <laughs> that's the, the only place that still has trees and normally is quiet and unless it's a certain holiday and people are going to visit their loved ones but um it it's just one of those places where there's serenity everything is still there's no traffic there's no noise it's like I, every time i leave work for my break i sit outside they're like you don't go to the break room and i'm like no this place gives me sensory overload a lot like it's something i have to cope with so for me to get outside as much as i can and when it rains it's kind of like eh. I was sitting in the rain yesterday because I was like, I'm just so over everything. My friend was kind enough to let me borrow his car while mine was in the shop. And um, I was like, your car is the most scary car I've ever driven. I hope I never have to do it again. And I gave him his car, his keys back and he started laughing. My car is scary. He's like, sometimes when you want to feel alive, you got to be on top of a death trap to just feel that life in you. I was like, no, I'm good. Like, I've been there. It was a relationship, but I've been there, you know, where you're sitting there going, I don't know, I don't want to ask that loaded question because the universe is going to answer me the what else could, mm -mm, I'm not saying it, but it's like saying Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, wonder if I said it, if it would happen, be in Wonderland, right? <laughs> but when it comes down to it, there's not always a desire to know what more could there be how many more struggles could i have because believe me <laughs> you can be shown when you think that life is tough you better get strong when you feel like getting giving up get up when you feel like 
lashing out, go punch a pillow. Go walk in the woods if you can find them. I can tell you where there's some around me. But um, it just, when it comes down to it, you have to create an escape for yourself. Because nobody's going to offer that to you. Even when I sit outside, my neighbors are always there. And I'm just like, I just... I just, I sat in my room last night with the window open and I just, I was like, I'm done peopling. I, I have nothing left to give because I have nothing to give myself at this point. And my friend even said, you need to take some time. I can tell that you're burdened. And I'm like, oh, you can tell? I know I can feel it. <laughs> like it's all inside of me. I just wanted to like, Bleh. and I mean, like last night, I said making those videos was me keeping myself out of a mental institution. It just gets to a point where it's like, uh, it's got to come out somehow, one way or another. And we can't always vent because we're complaining when we continue to vent to the same people, right? The people that we trust. So, I mean, I was journaling last night. I was trying to help myself without expecting someone else to do it for me because that's the hard part if you have expectations for other people to assist you in your healing it's not something that they can really do they can be there for you but just like when you have a cut on your body your body has to be the thing to heal your body it's crazy the thing you need is already taking care of it it's just we become impatient we're like, God, it still hurts. It's still tender. Is it ever going to heal? And then it scabs and it itches. And you're just like, oh my God, it's just, I want to be normal again. And then it's like, but what is normal? There's, there's a thing called normalcy. Oh, I didn't. I mean, I've always been told that I'm unique. Didn't know that meant weird. Hi, I'm weird. I'm okay with that. I like to actually put that out into the world because it helps other people tap into their uniqueness. The world needs, like I said in another video, we don't need 7 billion bolts. You can't build a damn thing with 7 billion bolts. You need a variety of things. Some people got to be sandpaper. Some people got to be epoxy. Some people got to be the glue to allow you to screw it together. It's just everybody has a different reason for being. We have to tap into that and be okay with that. And yes, people are going to judge you. I saw a shirt the other day that said different, not less. And I was like, I really like that. Because when you're different, people do believe that you're beneath them in a way. And it's only because honestly, in their heart, they look at you and they think, oh, you think you're better than me? No, there's no thinking. It's knowing. When I am in my true authentic self and I am vulnerable enough to say, you can judge me and I don't care what you have to say, guess what? I have elevated to a higher place in my mindset to where I'm comfortable within myself. Therefore, I am comfortable enough to show the world what it's missing without me. <laughs> you are a, a party favor. You are something that is meant to shine a light no matter what it is. Sometimes we shine it on the darkness. Sometimes we shine it on somebody that's sad that encourages them to, oh, I can breathe again. Because yesterday I was just, <sighs> and it wasn't even wanting to have panic attacks. It was just feeling everything. It was almost like wearing a corset and just being like, can I, I just need to take this bra off. <laughs> I just need to go home and and not be around. And it's nothing that can be removed. It's the energy that's thick. And I had a coworker. She was talking to me about the eclipse that's coming. And she was like, you know, it's talking about being on like biblical scale. And I was like, really? And she was like, I don't really get into all that. But, you know, I, I believe this or that. So we discussed it for a minute, which always reminds me that somebody is always having the end of the world moment. I've stated this before. We all live and die, right? So therefore, somebody is always experiencing their come to Jesus moment, and it may be on their bed where they no longer arise, you know? So we have things that happen in the world around us to remind us to live because if you don't remember to live it's funny you don't have to tell yourself to breathe you don't have to tell yourself to walk 
you naturally do these things but in the sense of living it's actually enjoying the world around you it is being able to adjust you know survival of the fittest you'll survive if you can adjust to how the world is moving around you and I remember when I first started my job it was like a dance for me I was just like Woo, that's that and that's that and life was good and then every the holidays came life got heavy people became people again because <laughs> there's something about the holidays it's like people get an extra sprinkle of kindness and patience and then after that they're like god i'm broke again i went and bought their enjoyment and they didn't even enjoy it they threw it in the trash a week later they broke it i mean it's not like this is new news so if we could all just have that little sprinkle of love and happiness throughout the year life would be so groovy right we would be loving going outside we would love interacting with people around us we would actually be able to breathe with ease and then know that we're there for one another you know it's even where i'm at right now we all look out for one another we all make sure like if we're going to the store do you need anything oh no i'll go later or, and it, it just even last night i didn't go outside and my friend messaged me are you okay and I said, I'm just really trying to unwind right now. Like, I, I need to clear my head. I need to work through these demons in my head right now. Because when you start having those thoughts, those thoughts that make you question yourself, those thoughts that want to make you break down and cry, sometimes you need to cry. That flood releases those emotions and it's cleansing, right? But when you get to that point, where you're questioning everything about you and you're like I should know me better but I let someone else define me that's what happens that's crazy making when you let somebody else tell you how you're failing how you can do better um, what you could have changed to make the outcome better you can't take the blame for everyone's actions it's taken me a very long time to accept that because I even taught my kids, be careful of who you're friends with because they will throw you under the bus in a heartbeat if it's between them and you. If someone's getting in trouble, someone's going to jail, they're going to choose you. <laughs> my son witnessed that firsthand and then became a lot like me. Very small, no circle. We're squares. We're not necessarily the kind that go out. And he, group called me last night between him and my mom, and we were all on the phone, and she asked him, so do you have a girlfriend? And he goes, no, I'm not stupid. And it sucks that he sees it as that point of view, but he's also trying to build a future. And that was another thing I taught him. If you want to have time to focus and create in your own right, then you have to limit yourself to your responsibilities. And when you get into a relationship, it's a heavy responsibility because now you have to focus on the other person as well as yourself. So the best thing we can do is take care of ourselves first, build a strong foundation for us, and then find somebody who has done the same for themselves or someone we can work with. I think a lot of people are so adamant on not being alone that they're okay taking less than what they deserve i don't want you to do that i did that for so many years and my head was constantly spinning i was always exhausted i never had enough to give i always questioned my own intellect i got to a point where i didn't know what i wanted to eat i didn't um know when to go to bed i didn't know when to get out of bed i became basically a shell of a person so when i realized that and i started building myself back up i started realizing i was like dragging around a shell of a man <laughs> and i was like this is not life i deserve better than this my children deserve better than this we deserve to laugh every day we deserve to enjoy life we deserve to look forward to things we deserve to be optimistic and hopeful and have faith that the world around us is going to be safe. And I'm not saying sleep with your doors open. I sleep with my window open a lot because it's nice outside. But it's still a matter of um, relying on that higher power to say, here's your path. 
go Dorothy, follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> and when you get in that mindset, you get to a point where things try to touch you. And even I heard somebody put it the other day and it reminded me of my sister. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Mom, I'm not touching her. And it's the same thing with those demonic spirits, those evil entities. It's almost like in your face. If you could view it as the Harry Potter, the um, the black robed, I can't remember what they're called, but where they're in your face and you can't see them. A regular person cannot see them, but they're sucking the life out of you. When you open up on a spiritual level and you begin to see with a different eye, <laughs> one that tells you the truth from a higher power you can feel it and you know to back up get away from me and you can very easily push them away because when you call the devil by his name I've called him out now he's got to get out you you have to invite evil in in order for it to reside within your heart and your home so if you're feeling like you're being attacked mentally physically energetically spiritually i urge you to really start praying and really go ground yourself put your feet in the grass take a walk drink your water i had to remember to get back to drinking my alkaline water to try to rebalance the cells within my body because the fried foods that we eat the caffeinated drinks that we drink the syrups the colors the dye you know all that stuff it it affects us <laughs> it's almost like if you had pop rocks that's what your body becomes and i know it tastes so good <laughs> i i know i'm not saying i don't enjoy it but everything in balance right I had to help a friend, I bought them milk and cereal yesterday because they were low on funds and said, I just, I can't even have that right now. They buy the healthy milk and then the unhealthy cereal. And I was like, mm-hmm, all that going to the gym isn't going to help you. And then I was like, no, I get it. We all do it. We all want, shoot, I bought a bag of potato chips. And a friend of mine said, the way your aura looks right now you need your minerals and i was like i know i feel it i've been eating salads for days but i'm still gonna eat the chips i didn't eat the chips till later <laughs> but i was at a point i haven't asked the girl that i was working with you want to eat some chips and she was like yeah i'll eat some chips so we were working and eating at the same time it actually helped make the day a little better when i saw my friend later on he said, well, you look more sociable now. And I was like, I ate the chips. Mm. <laughs> but I drank the water and I tried to balance things out. We have to remember balance is key. It's okay to go out and party. Just don't do it all the time. It's okay when you swing into a negative mindset, but snap yourself back. Because I used to give myself, it was three days. I can be down and pouting, but after three days, it became a habit. And then it started sucking me down and then it turned into a mindset and then that becomes a way of life that was for me i don't know how that will work for anybody else but i had to finally tell myself girl get up pull your big girl panties up if that snaps you better put on your britches and you got to get to a point where you're getting going because we can't live in a chaotic negative world and succumb to it because then guess what we're no longer living so i know i've probably yipped your ear off long enough if i've even kept you kept you watching till the end so i'm gonna let it go on that note hopefully you can remember stay strong stay happy stay loving and um don't give up i love you